Wide Street Brewing Company Brett Pale Ale, beer number three for a review. Okay, welcome back to Views on Brews. I'm Brendan, and this is the third beer we have for review. Wide Street Brewing Company, uh, Wilder Mix Fermentation, Brett Pale Ale. And this is, this can now is a nearly a year old. It says that uh, you can uh, sell, these, uh, sell these and let the Brett character to evolve a bit. So that's what I've done. And I'm just gonna crack it open now. 5%, uh, it says it's got pale malt, uh, Munich and oats in it. And it's hopped with Azaka and Idaho 7. Uh, five percent alcohol it's been out the fridge about 15 minutes and it's so hot today it's 26 degrees celsius so perfect beer for the day um oh i can smell a bit of brett on the nose already um that's cool i'm just gonna pour a tiny bit first and give you a look see at the can again uh actually it was brewed on it's got two dates on it it's brewed on canned on the 11th of july 19 and it's best before 11th of July 20 so we're May now so we're only a couple of months away from that whoa okay that has totally changed since I last had this that's huge amounts of uh, barnyard flavors now uh, Y Street Brand do uh, their cans they can condition their cans so I'm not sure if um, uh, if the brewer, and I know the brewer Sean Cullen, I'm not sure if he um, fermented the beer first with a normal yeast and then added Brett, or if he bottled con uh, can conditioned with a uh, normal yeast and fermented it 100% on Brett. Not really sure. I could ask him, but uh, anyway, we'll see. We'll see what we see. Um, wow. Okay, so the appearance is really, really good clarity, but I'm expecting the clarity to deteriorate uh, once I once I pour the rest of the the can. Uh, yes, yeah, straw, straw pale color, um, no head to speak of, but I expect that for this kind of uh, style. Give it a swizz up. Um, the the aromas of barnyard is just absolutely through the roof. In fact, I don't think I've had a Brett beer this barnyard like uh, ever. Um, medium to light body, light enough body in fact. Um, yeah, really nice. Uh, mouthfeel just gives you that sort of um, really zesty, uh, zesty but dry uh, palate. Really nice. The aromas, uh, yeah, the aromas are very much less hops and more about uh, the the bread in the beer. So I know it had uh, Azaka and Idaho Seven, and maybe they're in there, but the the bread is just taking over absolutely everything. And I've got no problem with that because it's really nice. Uh, so barnyard is it leathery like it's 100% like leather saddle <sighs> wet wet sort of uh, wet sort of horse yeah it's really it's all of those characteristic um, Brett like characters that you get taste is bone dry beautiful uh, very um, very citrus like and oh, really light beer uh, light mouthfeel um, the bread stays on but the, the finish of the beer is instant it's dry it's really dry really nice um, not much bitterness to speak of just a straight up pale ale has Munich in it. it must be a light Munich. Uh, Munich has got melanoidins and, and gives different flavors to the beer, but you wouldn't really notice it to be honest. Like the oats are in there. I expect the Munich was in such a low quantity that it didn't have um, a huge effect on the beer. It just feels like a pale ale 
with Brett in it. Fantastic. Let's see what the rest of the can looks like now. Yeah, a lot cloudier. And a bit of a head on it, actually. Okay. I can hear the head fizzing, so I know it's going to go. But that's okay. Oh my god. Brett, when it's left in, in the bottle or in the keg or in the can and it has time to evolve in a beer, it just brings such an amazing amount of flavour and aromas to the beer. Yeah, there's a faint herbal uh, hoppy aroma in it. It's almost like... Uh, it's the hops have melded with the, with the Brett and it's... It's got this kind of a funky sort of aroma, but you couldn't really pin it down to hops alone. Fantastic, yeah. Appearance is great, aromas are great, mouthfeel is great, flavors are great. I just say that's a great beer. God, I just keep uh, smelling the aromas in it. Um, this beer, when I bought it originally, which is literally the week it, or the day it was released, I think I had three three other cans of it. And over that week, I, I must have had all three of them. And I do not remember it um, being anywhere near like this. So it's really cool when you can condition something and you end up with, you know, you have a beer that goes into a can and it, over the course of 12 months or 11 months that it is, or maybe it's only 10 months even actually, that the beer is just completely changing and evolving into something that's um, just totally different. I remember it was really hoppy when I uh, tr tried it first. So I reckon those Azaka and Idaho hops will have just tapered off as they would anyway in any beer in fact, but the Brett just comes alive. So if you want to get a beer that um, that uh, you can have a bit of fun with by getting two or three of them, trying one, remembering what it was like, and then six to twelve, uh, six months later, try another one. Twelve months after, try the last one. You're going to get three different beers for the price of one, or well, the price of three, but three different beers in the same can. Really cool. Love this beer. Love it. I actually, want to go out and buy more now. <laughs> Now, I don't know if he's brewed it again, but I think I've seen a can similar like this with Citra in it. So maybe he's made the same beer, but swapped out the hops, maybe. Uh, either way, it's an incredible beer, if you happen to see it. Uh, brewed in Ballymahan, County Longford in the Midlands and the heart of Ireland. Um, so check it out. Cheers.